Well, I think the impact my mother has had in the arts in Miami is amazing. Um, she started the first art collection at the public library. She brought forth the idea of the book fair. She spearheading the idea of um, the Cuban Museum of Arts and Culture, and, and on and on. One thing that we did at that time was we started an art collection. All the libraries all over the county. So we, we started this uh, mobile art gallery that went all over the county, but especially we wanted it to go to children. So it, it went to all the uh, kids, uh, uh, kindergarten on uh, at, uh, at the school. So this established the Black History Month and then we established the Art Mobile with uh, black artists exhibiting in them. And some major artists uh, were involved. My mother loved icons. She loved Russian icons and uh, Spanish R Romanesque painting. But she was fascinated with uh, the shapes and the colors and the gold and... Well, it was a mostly a, a religious uh, thing. They loved to paint virgins and there were some very popular virgins in uh, Cuba like uh, La Caridad del Cobre and uh, La Virgen de Regla, uh, many more, so I started with those. And the Archangels, Archangels were my favorite. One of the things that I have in my studio, that I have on my wall, is this that she wrote, uh, this little statement, and I'd like to repeat it and, and narrate it for you. Be optimistic about the future and try to live intensely for days move very quickly when a creative energy is at a peak. But be prepared for the days of solace and learn to enjoy the peace and tranquility of nothing, nada. But be prepared for the moment when things pick up, for one must be ready to be pulled by the wave and go. Well, I, I, I'm very excited that the arts are beginning to be something so important. So I think if things will keep on growing.